<laughs> Hello friends. <clears throat> Welcome to my video. I hope this finds you well. And if not, you can uh, let it pass and let it go and feel the, feel the moment and be present in the moment. This morning I'm thinking about um, dysfunction. What is dysfunction? Like dysfunction of my experience of dysfunction. And I, and I say that because I realize that anything that I relate to on the outside is ultimately dysfunctional in the sense of like there's nothing ever lasts. And what I mean is like, you know, like you know, like externally, the forms that are appearing in your experience, either it's a person or a job or, you know, your role or your mask of your role, it can be dysfunctional in the sense that um, it's like relating to something that you are thinking that this will bring happiness to me now things are temporary you know it's great to succeed and it's great to it's great to feel validated um by others <laughs> but at the end of the day if you rely on that then everything's dysfunctional it's dysfunctional in the sense because if you're conscious of it and you know that it's a play, that you're playing with form, and you're playing with, um, yeah, you're playing with it because, yeah, I guess that's what we do, or that's what we, yeah, that's, that's what you realize, or I realize for myself. And dysfunction, in a time where I feel like I was dysfunctional, because I do not feel dysfunctional at the moment. I don't. Um, if I relate to my thoughts that are coming from my silly, silly, silly head, <laughs> then I can become dysfunctional in the sense of like, if I believe that something outside of me is going to bring me some kind of relief. Um, many things can, look, you know, like many things can, and I guess I've exhausted all of them in the, in the sense of bringing bringing me here to this day where I realized that, oh gosh, um, nothing is permanent. Like a job or, well for me at least, a relationship or, you know, because, you know, the, when you're born, you die, you know, like you, that's, that's life. And that's what seems to be every situation. <laughs> I've got like, um, fuzzies from my socks lying around in my face. Anyway, is this really dark? I don't know. Let me sit over here. But you know what I mean? It's like, that seems to be very, very dysfunctional. If you relate to, to the need of being everything right. And dysfunctional is not agreeing with what is, what is happening in your experience, but realize that it is, you have a possibility to attach to it or not attach to it. And, um, and see for yourself uh, um, if it lasts. Because nothing's gonna last. This music is more jazzy because I don't wanna ever, ever get serious here. Even if I feel sad or if I feel, I don't know, um, the feelings that arise and feel, when I feel low vibration or feeling this or whatever. There. I don't wanna, uh, really do that because really nothing is that serious in my life in the sense that I need to de I need to do this or this or this or that or that to feel my joy my birthright of joy or whatever so like dysfunctional being dysfunctional for me was that I related so much to the external world to bring me some kind of happiness which is kind of a dead end because I realized that <laughs> I realized that that's dysfunctional, and and because I don't function, I, I don't function in the sense of how I authentically would function and agree with what life is, agree with the agreement uh, of the flow of life. Because life seems to have some kind of sacred um, source that is ever present, and that is like you know whatever you call God or your source or the universe or 
or your belief system, I guess, you know that ultimately, if there is a belief system, you believe in something that is external, this is outside of you. But I believe that my um, internal world is more important than the external world because that is um, constant, like that's constant, that source I'm speaking about. The source that that I relate that I can relate to it every second because that cannot be put out like you know what I mean um, that cannot go away that just is ever present and you always have that choice to let go of you do that's, that's just miraculous and beautiful and incredible and and manifestations do happen and everything and I like living in that because that is less dysfun that is not dysfunctional for me that is like really really inspiring and realizing that you know I can go with the foe I may not my mind may not agree with certain things for sure absolutely because it's already conditioned it already knows uh, it, it it already has some kind of other agenda and that's my ego and all that kind of thing and that isn't that dysfunctional that's like if my happiness depended on my external um, in my external life then it would constantly be challenged in the sense that you know I have to achieve this to feel my birthright of joy my happiness my my um, excitement my you know my fun my fun my fun my fun I don't have to do that to have fun I can have fun like just sitting here <laughs> and I know I know I know here it goes again Maurice 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 you know like it does matter because you know money does matter um, you know people do matter and and what people do to you does matter and all this kind of thing and I think that that well I kind of exhausted those things kind of exhausted because that seems if I relied on that it would be dysfunctional because there's a death you know like I was saying before there's a death there's a death to every event and every situation and every day you know we get up in the morning and we go to sleep at night we get up in the morning and we go to sleep at night it seems as though that is a root that is something that's constant in our lives that can kind of maybe dictate time but if I'm here right now in the present moment there's no such thing as time and it's always present it never goes away it the the source that I co-cooperate with which is my birthright which is the energy the vibrational um, source within myself that is like I said it you can try to put it out you cannot put it out because that what's is what is like beating your heart and making you or creating um, in creating action and you're inspired to do that action um, for whatever con so called reward it would be and what reward do you need to feel your happiness like it doesn't isn't that dysfunctional you do not need a, an award for any kind of behavior that you <laughs> do or not do or need to be validated within yourself forget others you know like because at the end of the day it's really about how you feel in your si inside and that that feeling will never ever be um, uh, if you're searching for any external thing like do you know where I'm getting at that it's just really like very interesting to recognize that play so dysfunction I think happens basically when I disagree with what is and that can be in any emotion that rises or follow me or or um, or anything external a person an experience in my daily life and this is what I'm talking about more or less in my daily life because in my daily life I can carry this with me and I can be aware and be aware of all that is coming to my experience and I can really, how can you say, make a choice to go with the flow and you know see it as a play and that can be really fun even if people get angry or upset it, you know they're entitled to that as long as they don't harm me or you know you know, harm me or others like it's like that seems to happen you know that seems to can, can happen but it's not so often that we're like in our daily lives getting a, um, you know like abused uh, sexually especially physically you know people can say certain things but six and stones words can never really hurt us if we allow that like if we allow that but it's not dysfunctional like if you allow it it would be dysfunctional 
it would be dysfunctional and we've ra we've been raised to like stand our ground you know just stand don't let people walk all over us and everything we can internally agree to that within ourselves and we don't have to prove our point or you know have to stand up for ourselves in a, in a, like we can do it silently by respecting and loving other people's opinions now i think that when it comes across certain lines you know then um i think that when there's harm then action can be taken in that way but what action to be taken we cannot like which is really dysfunctional is that we you know we we want peace and we are to organize the peace that we want there's war <laughs> that seems so dysfunctional for me that is ex extremely dysfunctional um the leaders the, the political leaders that we have in our lives with their what regardless whatever country you're basically living in really i think is kind of dysfunctional we're relying on that we're relying on this these politicians to um organize our freedom or you can't organize your freedom that's dysfunctional it's so dysfunctional <laughs> and you know like the fake news is dysfunction. It's creating more and more of the dysfunction because there is fake news out there and there there is, you know, it's all about the negative and all the blah blah blah. Anyway, there is a choice that we can make within ourselves to re, re, to go with the flow with what is and to, you know, um, to choose our, to choose our freedom over all that is and that's possible. That's really possible. And I, I just share that because I find that less dysfunctional and not dis dysfunctional. And my life's not dysfunctional in that sense of by allowing to go with the flow of what is. And just being fun-loving and being constant with that. Being constantly choosing that above all that, exper that I experience. That doesn't mean that I run away from any feeling of dysfunction because that arises in me. For sure, it arises in me. But it also teaches me that, um, you know, if you feel inferior and anyone outside of you is a, a projecting a superior, egoistic, like, look at me, I'm better than you, that's dysfunctional. Because I think the, the, um, the, the lack of, um, the lack of harmony that is, that is being being had by feeling superior or inferior with each other is dysfunctional because there is no one in the world that is better than you i don't care who you are as a human being we are all valid <laughs> it's just simple right it's simple it's it's a very simple simple thing but it's a huge problem in the world and there's dysfunction. And dysfunction can have, and it happens not only globally, but internally within ourselves. But we can let go of that dysfunction and realize that we can function and go with the flow of life, which is incredibly miraculous, and, um, and surrender to that. I surrender and I let go. This is how I am. Like It's just so incredible that I've decided for myself a couple years ago to let go of the need to be validated by others um, with with anything that I do with whatever choice and it's very liberating and it's so powerful it's so authentic to be myself to realize that that is not dysfunctional within myself because I don't need to be validated and so I do things like my sharings and my uh, well my explorations my work everything is what is on the external is like me playing with the forms the forms of life and you know that comes with <laughs> judgments and labels and all this stuff and I'm not ignorant I know that and I can feel that and feel that it's just an illusion and let it pass and people are entitled people are this is a beautiful 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 day to realize that that dysfunction happens in your own mind and you can let go of that and that can be incredibly liberating and uh, forever forever encouraging for oneself because that never goes away that source that light that beautiful that that ever-present vibration that is so beautiful and all-encompassing and all-loving 
all all non judgment non judge non judgmental um, energy that is the your source that you cooperate with that is constant and when you relate to that that's not dysfunctional for me it's not dysfunctional and I share that because I love and I love unconditionally and that's related to like life right I feel so good in my heart to be able to to open it up and and realize that for myself and um, it's a journey for sure but let's just say no more to our own dysfunction and just allow ourselves just to be and we learn from our experiences we go on and um, and realize what we can do what we can't do and um, Forgive them for for they know what know not what they do. Forgiveness is so cool. It really helps a lot. It does me. And less dysfunction is had. Yeah. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching me, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.